All right, Aquarius. So this is going to be your general reading for December of 2002 going into January 2023. Um, keep in mind it is a general spread, so all messages is going to resonate with you. We're going to pull in from Oracle Do Oracle card deck to see what's overall energy. We're also going to be using these at the end for advice and what else you need to know. I'm going to be saying read between two sides. One is going to be personal and career, and the other side is going to be a love portion. All right. With that being said, let's get started into reading. Woo! I never did it so fast in my entire life. Also, make sure you guys like the video, because how how are you guys going to watch my shit, but none of y'all going to like it or comment? That don't make no sense. Anyway, Aquarius, let's see. Can I get one card for overall energy? What's Aquarius overall energy? We have respect. You value everyone's unique perspective on the path to love. And in the bottom of the deck, we have cause and effect. You are aware that the love you create in your thoughts and is agent of change and the foundation of results. Why is all the Gem not the Gemini? Yeah, Gemini Libra Aquarius spreads. They're they're very similar. They're very 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 similar. Respect somebody's decision. Like, let somebody suffer. But the effect of their cause, the actions that they made, you have under their actions, like respect what somebody's decision is. Like if someone decides to cut you off, don't try to figure out why, don't try to figure out if they're having sex with somebody else. Just respect it. Respect it. Because karma always comes spin that wheel. She always comes and spin that wheel. So respect the decision. Allow them to live with that decision because I feel like it's going to affect them. And I feel like what's going to give you more respect from somebody is allowing them to stick with that. Like, some of you be like, oh my gosh, but he doesn't respect my decision. Like, like someone, my, my dad doesn't love me or they don't, they don't like my love partner. They don't like respect me because I keep taking them back. Stop taking them back. See how much they respect you. So I've given them so many chances. Allow people to stick with their cause and effect, but also be the cause to your respect. If you want more respect for yourself, you want people to start loving you, treating you right the first time, then allow them to disrespect you once and you cut them off. Like, yeah. Hi, right, Aquarius. What's going on in Aquarius' personal life? What's going on in Aquarius' personal life? What's going on in Aquarius personal life? What's happening in Aquarius personal life? Here? Okay, we have the four of cups in reverse. We have the Queen of Wands upright. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. So I see you guys standing strong on something. I see you guys trying to work out. Things inside your life with the four cups in reverse. As you guys paying attention to things that you haven't paid attention to before, but I feel like you're giving an extra attention with the Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands loves attention. That's why I'm saying you're giving an extra attention. Like there was things or parts of yourself that you weren't noticing before, but I see you guys working on it, and I feel like that's becoming very significant. Or for example, say it's just looks. Because the Queen of Wands can talk about beauty as well. Some of you guys are like. You may have not gotten your nails done or left your nails dirty or whatever the case is you guys are paying more attention to that or you guys didn't like like something was breaking you out or say you had acne scars and you're like okay i'm i'm i got rid of my acne it's time to get rid of my acne scars it's something like that where you're putting in more effort and detailing towards you i don't always tell people the best investment you can make is towards yourself it is it's the number one investment you can make <clears throat> Why is the four cups in reverse? I'm losing my voice. I don't know why. It fucking hurts. <coughs> no, Blue, get out. Get out. Blue, go. 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 
Go, Blue. Go. Go. No. Go. Go, Blue. My dog doesn't respect me. No. Stop. Stop. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? What? Not the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Wands. Why is it? Blue. Stop it. I don't want to play. I don't want to play. I don't want to play. Guys, this is fucking blue. Come here. They shaved her. They shaved her. She's a husky. She don't look like one right now. All right, Blue. Come on. The judgment in reverse. This is so similar to Gemini's reading. All the air signs could also be dealing with a Scorpio or a Sagittarius. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? She's just sitting in my room now. And the Page of Cups. Two of Cups. But I don't feel like this is a love interest. I feel like you guys are coming into unity with yourself. Like, I don't... I guess, I mean, I'm talking about the personal information, but... I feel like there's parts of yourself that you try to submerge. Or try to let end, or you try to ignore. And the Judgment card talks about being awakened in reverse. Is being quiet towards that. So you guys paying more attention, or trying to remove factors about yourself that are, you felt are defaults. Whatever the case is. I see you working on something. Or are you working on forgiving? I feel like for the rest of December, you're going to be reflecting a lot. Or inside of your internal. That's going to be more important than your external. But I feel like it's like both. Like you're paying attention to things that you need to work on. That you're going to be working on. And you feel like you need to be developing for next year. I see you guys coming into more of a union with yourself. And paying attention to. Or trying to figure out what you want your focus to be. I also see you guys looking very good while doing it with the Queen of Wands. What else do you have for Aquarius? We have the Queen of Cups. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. I feel like some of you guys could be starting up Sagittarius energy. You have a lot of fire energy. I have the Temperance and the Strength card. Um, Sagittarius and Leo. I see you guys starting up something that you could work on like through beauty. Like, I feel like it's something so strong. Like, I feel like that's why it's important to work on your internal. Because I feel like you guys are finding something. I feel like you guys are finding a balance of something. And I feel like it's going to be... This dog is fucking creepy. I feel like you guys are finding a balance of something. Or something that you want to put into fruition inside this world. And I feel like... It's one of the things. Some of you guys could be getting help from somebody, like a mother. Or a mother influence. It's not to be a mom. could be a grandmother. Or just someone with a feminine vibe about her that could be helping you or giving you advice on how to do something or how to start something i see some of you guys are getting into spirituality like potions but i see you guys making finances from something like for example say you look you start posting it on youtube instagram tiktok whatever case is like you're trying to get attention notice views and i see you guys getting that attracting that or some of you guys strength cards some of you guys are working on bodybuilding but it's also good for your health like your internal and your out like you know what i'm saying there's good things for your body and now you're getting attention and your body's developing and you're getting paid from it it's something like that that's very significant all right so let's see what's going on for aquarius finances for the rest of december going to january nine of swords Seven of Wands. Let me close my door real quick. Oh, wait a second. They're saying hi to my boyfriend outside. My boyfriend's outside. Okay. Oh, yeah. Some of you guys. <laughs> Some of you guys could be stressing about when something's coming in for you, something's happening for you. Your stress is your blockages. And I feel like once you remove that, that's why something can't come to manifestation from you. Because you could be stressing about something and that's a blockage. Usually when you're stressing about something because you feel like you can't have it or it's a fear or you can't make something come into fruition. Then with the three of wands, I'm doing a reading! <laughs> then when you have the three of wands, not the three of wands, threes talks about growth. Threes talks about growth. So there's something that's going to be growing for you. And then I feel like that's what it is. It's like there's something you could be stressing about putting action in towards. But there's a need for you to just put action 
This reading is so chaotic. <laughs> there's a reading, there's a needing for you to just put action towards it because it's gonna turn out very well for you. And finances, and it could be that thing, like for example, say you did spend this and you're afraid to post to yourself. There's a lot of growth coming in towards you, even if you're small on a smaller side, or you just started, or you're getting 10 views when you upload. It's all worth it, it's all gradual process. Progress. All right, let me get from this side. Let's go to your love portion. All right. What's going on for Aquarius love life? What's going on for Aquarius love life? What's going on for Aquarius love life? What can Aquarius be expecting in love? Okay, I got the four of wands, but which way does it want to face? The four of wands in reverse. What's going on in Aquarius love life? That's too many cards. What's going on in Aquarius love life? We have the chariot upright. So I mean, guys, you could have had a sneaky link or love interest that moves, um, that could have moved away from you. They, like, even if they, like, not moved away from you, they could have moved somewhere, like, moved something different or something like that. But, yeah, seven of cups. I feel like something that wasn't stable, like, either a love interest could have moved away from you or if you guys shared the same job, they could have transferred jobs or something like that where there's a sense of movement happening. Could be a cancer as well. The hermit in reverse. Could be doing with a Virgo. The lovers. This is a lot of major arcana. You know what? The lovers and the four wands is connecting, like clarifying each other. The magician, but the fucking hangman. You know how? You know how? Do you know how much major arcana I just seen doing this spread? So fucking much. And then the four wands, the star at the bottom. You see, there's a drastic change happening inside your love life. I keep trying to say the same thing, but I keep getting distracted about by the major arcana that I keep seeing. Okay, something literally blew out. Bottom of the deck is a higher kind of verse. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. This connection is not coming up as a stable connection. Like, it's not, whatever this is, it's not coming up as like, oh, we're married. Oh, we're dating. We're girlfriend, boyfriend. It's not coming up as that. Three of Wands. Hmm. I feel like someone trying to manipulate a connection, like manipulate the direction this is going. I feel like you kind of knew something was different about this connection. That you could have been in. I feel like you and someone could be separated. But that's what I'm saying. Like, it's not like a bad, like a too bad separated. That's what I'm saying. It's not, oh, I hate you. Or whatever the case is. Now we're separated. It's like, I had to go work on something. You had to go work on something. It's something like that. But I don't feel like with the higher front of verse, it's two people that are like working, currently working on a connection. Two of cups in verse. Yeah, currently working on a connection. Currently trying to fix something or in a relationship. I feel like someone also may travel to see you. Aquarius but I feel like the reason why they're lying about like there's something where someone's lying about something like for example if someone comes to see you they're lying about the reason why even though you separated from someone they still feel the connection like for example say they're like oh like say even if they say if they're coming to see you say they're in time like oh my mom had this had this get together so since I was in town I came to see you his mom ain't have no get together he just came to see you yeah, the Page of Pentacles. I see you getting communication with someone that you could feel like is your twin flame or someone you feel like is you're connected to. Strength card in reverse. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. The Star in reverse. Yeah, I see you getting communication, but nothing's changed. I see you in your head. You could have the dreams about this person when they before they come towards you. I think the message is for your love reading is that someone is coming towards you and it's a love interest that you know that you could have been waiting on them to come towards you. You could have dreams about them coming towards you or there's just not much growth. There's not much stability inside this connection, but you really care about this person. Heavy major arcana here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I feel like you're going to have dreams that you're going to be thinking about this person a lot before they come towards you. Like, you're just going to randomly start thinking about this person a lot before they come towards you. Can I get three more cards for Aquarius? 
and their love portion. I think that's literally the straight up message. You getting communication or somebody coming to see you. The wheel of fortune. Because something wasn't the right time. And then the five of pentacles is somebody coming back around or something coming back around. Because something wasn't the right time and now it is the right time. Give me two more cards. Phones just hit 20%. Give me two more cards. The six of wands in reverse and the two of swords in reverse. Yeah, I feel like when something you least expect something, I feel like it's going to come in towards you. I feel like things were unsuccessful because it wasn't the right time. But I see someone coming in with something to offer. But there's a need for you to be careful because they're coming up in the magician in reverse. Like something about them is not really truthful or not really honest. Like the reason why they're doing something is not true. Like for example, say they ghosted you. They said, oh, they had to work on themselves. But they actually ghosted you to go work on the love interest. And then you don't know that. So when they're over there working on themselves, they're actually dealing with a love interest and it doesn't work. So they come back around towards you, but you don't know that. So they're like, oh my gosh, well, I worked on myself and I have something to offer you, but actuality. And you feel like something's fishy because they would have contacted you. They could have still stayed in contact, but they didn't. So it's like something like that where there's need for to be careful when they come around towards you with their an apology. Yeah. Or whatever they come with. All right. Let's see more information. And advice. Alright, give me two cards for more information for Aquarius. We have vision. No matter what, you see the bigger picture of the loving universe. And then give me one more. And this one says forgiveness. You are able now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurts. So yeah, this need pretty good. Forgive this person, even if you don't have, if you see this person in your life or don't with vision. There's a need for you to forgive them. I feel like they served their purpose in your life already. Yeah, elevation. I feel like you're already moving forward or pushing forward, but this gives you an opportunity if you still want this person in your life or not. I feel like someone you could have been waiting for. Yeah, unity. Someone you could have been waiting for to come back in union with, but it's up to you whether you want to be in union. Because I feel like the time away like allowed you to elevate or allowed you to see things clear, especially with vision. If you want this person, like why would you still want this person in your life? Like now you can see it clear. All right, let me get some advice. What advice do you have for Aquarius? We have cooperation. In your quest to manifest the energy of love, you realize that every person and experience has value. Yeah, so be grateful for the value. And then we have transformation. Be grateful for the value that this has, the cooperation, you guys coming together. Just because you and a person comes together doesn't mean you guys are going to stay together. And we have acceptance. Yeah, transformation. Like, be grateful for this person's um, transformation that they cause inside your life. And cause you to look for newer things and better things. And accept the situation for what it is or who this person is. And just forgive them. And allow yourself to keep pushing forward. Alright Aquarius, so that's what I have for your personal reading. Everything's going to be down in the description box below. If you want to book a personal reading, I said thank you for your personal reading. For your dinner reading. If you want to book a personal reading, it's down below in all my social medias. As well as make sure you follow me and you like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.